Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Restream tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Restream transcoding to ensure your live streams to Instagram will fit the format of Instagram. So as you can see here, I already have a video covering how to live stream to Instagram and Facebook at the same time with Restream, but I had a lot of questions asking why Instagram cuts off the sides of your videos. So as you can see with this example video, if you live stream to Instagram and Facebook at the same time, on Instagram, it'll cut off the side of your video. And this is because Instagram live streaming was designed to be watched on a cell phone, while Facebook live streaming was designed to be viewed on a computer or at least widescreen like you would watch on your TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Restream transcoding to ensure your live stream fits within the Instagram app and the sides of the video are not cut off. So the first thing you need to do is watch my video on how to live stream to Instagram and Facebook at the same time with Restream get everything set up according to that video, and then go to your Restream account, and we'll go through the steps to set up transcoding. Transcoding through Restream does cost money, but it's not too expensive at about $2 per hour. So the first thing you need to do is buy some transcoding hours from Restream. And you can do that from your dashboard in Restream by going into the left sidebar, selecting the three horizontal dots to open up more. Then in the menu that appears, go down to Billing, select Billing, and then once you're in billing, go down all the way to the bottom, you'll see transcoding and select buy hours. This will bring you to this page where you can select how many hours you need, buy them, and then we can start setting up transcoding within Instagram. Once you've purchased your transcoding hours within Restream, simply go to your dashboard where you have all of your destinations configured. And for the destinations you have enabled, such as Instagram, which we've used a custom RTMP to enable and set up, you should see transcoding disabled. Go ahead and select transcoding disabled. Once the menu appears right here, go ahead and enable transcoding. And then all we need to change in here is the width and the height, which is very easy. All you're gonna be doing is swapping these. So for the width, it'll be 720, and the height, it'll be 1280. Once you have those entered correctly with the width at 720 and the height at 1280, go ahead and select save. And then when you live stream to Instagram from Restream, you'll be able to see the entire stream in the app and the sides will not be cut off. So as you can see in this example on my phone, you can see my live stream to Instagram. You're getting the entire stream. And then if you were multi-streaming to Instagram, Facebook, or Twitch, you'd be able to see those in their full resolution while still retaining the native resolution on your Instagram app. So that's how you use Restream Transcoding to live stream to Instagram from Restream in its native resolution. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Instagram or Restream tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.